Right, here we go. We're going to look at Apache Kafka and in particular partitions. So I've got some data here. It's in my first topic, <laughs> happily named. Uh, the data is going to be spread across two partitions and we're going to have a replication factor of three, which means that those partitions are going to be distributed across a number of brokers, a number of nodes. You see I've got, following the red lines, uh, leader zero, so that's broker zero, and then broker two and broker three as part of that set. So if you look here on the towards the top right, actually top right is the command that created all of this. So that's the create. You can see it's against that particular zookeeper replication factor and partitions. And again, we're creating that particular topic. So that's the daemon on the bin directory under Kafka and Kafka topics, which we're running there. So that creates two partitions and three lots of replication. So for each partition, so partition 0 has leader 0, and that's indicated in red, and we've got replicas 0, 2 and 3, 0, 2 and 3, so that's brokers 0, 2 and 3. Happens to be on the first server there. We can see the same sort of thing going on here for the second partition, where the leader now is uh, 2, and we can sort of follow this uh, sort of purple line, and we can find that 2, 3, and zero are members there in terms of the replicas and we can see that they're all in sync, in sync with one another so the in sync stuff that's going on the end here the in sync replicas of for each of those partitions means all three elements are in sync so on server one where the zookeeper also resides we can see that listening on port 2181 we can also see three brokers the first of the brokers broker 0 is on 9092 the second broker is on 9093 and the last broker broker 3 in this case is on 9094 to find broker 21 we go on to server 2 and we find the server 2 has an IP address of 192.168.1.215 and the port number that broker 21 is listening on is 9092. Now you'll find that information in the config directory under Kafka and in the properties files. So if it, for the zookeeper there's a properties file, file and for each of the brokers there will be a server file or server dot properties and the server will have to have a different name for each one so they can't all have server dot properties it'll be server dot properties for broker zero and then broker two in this case I'd save that as server hyphen two dot properties and broker three was server hyphen three uh, dot properties because I'd put broker twenty one on a different server I actually use the server dot properties as you'll find within the config directory under Kafka on server 2. So they all have their own unique configuration file and that's what you can that's what you actually start and stop when you start and stop those brokers. So those brokers can be seen and be seen available uh, and then we can start thinking about where the sort of partitions are going to go as well. Um, and we can see some of that here. So this terminal, as you can see, it's actually on 192.168.1.235. It's a putty terminal, of course. Uh, and what we can do is we can have a look around and see what we've got. First thing we can do is we are in the Kafka directory. So all of the demons are in bin. So we go down into bin. We'll look for zookeeper um, as the shell. And on the end. Localhost, because we are on the localhost. If you're not, then you'll need to put the IP address of where Zookeeper is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to ls the brokers. Yep. Uh, and we're looking for their IDs. So we want to know how many of them there are. Right, the 0, 2, 3, and 21. Good. Okay. Um, so those are the four that are available. I wonder what topics we've got, if any. So we'll have a look against Brokers Topics. And we can see there's the one in there, Consumer Offsets, wherever that came from. Um, so, not mine, as you'll see in just a moment. Right, so we want to create that first topic. So we're going to use that command that we can see across the top here. So if we just, just enter that command as we go along. So again, it's all in slash bin. It's, we're bringing up a Kafka uh, topic. So we want to create that. Okay, I'm going to create that on zookeeper 
and the local host should work because we're on the local host. Uh, 2181. Uh, the replication factor, now let's make sure I get this right this time. Um, the replication factor is a factor of 3. Not a particularly powerful cream that. Um, so partitions, z, make sure you get the s. 2. Doesn't like it if you don't. And topic is my first topic. That's just the name of the topic, which is very important because that's what we'll be using for consumers and producers later. Oh, right. Let's hope it's good. Now, we've got something of a problem there, so let's make sure that all the wording is correct first. Ah, I can see a problem there straight away. There's an L missing. So always check to make sure that you've got it typed, otherwise that's the type of error you will see, which is good. I just don't want any more of them. Thank you very much. The topic is created. Now, we actually looked for those topics before. So if we back through the history, we can see, oh, we can list the broker topics. And there it is, it's listed. It's one of the available topics. Well, that's only one way of looking at it. We want to see what the detail is in terms of where it actually, where it actually sits. So this is where we'll come back in. So back into BIN. Uh, and again, it's against the Kafka uh, topics, so topics. Oh, that's enough. Good, and we want to describe it this time. Yeah, if you want to delete it, that's uh, delete, which is for a little bit later. Um, so again, it's against Zookeeper. See, the problem with typing and uh, talking is you always miss something. So ah, uh, twenty-one eighty-one because that's the port number that it's listening to. So what we need to do, of course, is identify the specific topic. So the topic is my first topic. Right, here we go. Ah, good. So what we can see here, well that's got off the end of the page there, that's the in-sequence replicas, uh, so there's three of them, and she's quite correct, because we asked for, and we got, uh, effectively, two partitions, and three as the replication factor. So three is the number of copies that you're going to get. So for each partition, there's partition 0 and partition 1, we have three replicas. The leader, the leader of the pack, the one that you effectively communicate with it if you're a producer or consumer, and the one that's responsible for then copying that across to the followers, which are the other members in here. So if 0 is the leader, 2 and 3 are the followers. And in this one, 2 has been made the leader, and we can see then that 3 and 21. Now, that is different to what I got before, because you'll notice we've also got 21 in the equation here, and 21 is the, the fourth of the brokers. Now, that wasn't available when I first did my examples, so uh, we, we sort of no, wasn't available for the zookeeper to actually then organise the, the, the data across those. So maybe you get something a little bit more like this. Well, let's make sure the diagram sort of matches. So again, just looking at this, we can see these are the actual replicas. So we can see here now we've got leader 0. So 0, 2 and 3 is where it's spread for the first partition, 0, 2 and 3, and the leader is 0, and then it's 2, 3, 21. So we've got 2, 3 and 21, 2, 3 and 21, with the leader as being 21. So, yep, one house correct. That now reflects what we can see here for the first, then, of our topics. So let's, uh, let's, let's see, well, we could add another topic, couldn't we? So we could bring in an additional topic on top of our first topic. So we could bring in hmm, our aptly named second topic. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to create three partitions and the same level of replication. The level three replication is uh, advised because that's really the lowest level of replication that you should have, which, which is good in, in distributed systems and also obviously good for uh, resilience in terms of the information itself being highly distributed. So it's distributed across partitions, which in turn are distributed across uh, in terms of replicas. Remember, it's the leader's responsibility to copy to the others. So we're going to use the same command that we can see at the top here, and we're going to then produce uh, another topic. 
So the same thing as we did before. So it's into bin and it's Kafka and we're into topics. So topics, topics, and we're going to create and we're going to do that on a particular zookeeper or using that. So that's on localhost 2181. Yep, the L's in there this time. Good. Now replication factor of three and partitions three and then we're going to do this for the particular topic which is my second topic name is important for later when you need to come back and then start using it okay have I done everything right we're in the right directory bin Kafka topics seems to be okay create zookeeper localhost it's on the right port number replication make sure that's spelled correctly factor three partitions three away we go so there it is there's a there's a number of commands that we can use uh, in order to check that out remember so let's go and have a look so let's look at the topics it's there let's describe that now so we can use the describe but of course this is my second topic there it is so this time we've got three partitions 0 1 and 2 we've got three different leaders and we've got replication across all four brokers three at a time uh, for each of those so that looks very similar to what we encounter here where again with three partitions three leaders and the level of replication that we can see across the available brokers so that's all set up really now for the consumers to come in and the producers to start putting data into those topics messages into those topics and then being able to then consume those out of those available topics good that sounds pretty much you know a good place to stop there um, there are a couple of other things that you could possibly look at uh, uh, assume we were brave enough <laughs> uh, and some of those things could be of course including the deletion of topics so you might want to actually remove a topic um, so make sure nobody's using it and then if you want to delete a topic, remember we can actually see the topics that are actually in play at this moment in time. We can see that we've got both the first and second topic. So in order to delete those, you're obviously going to use the delete uh, command. So or as part of the topics, you're going to use the delete parameter. And, and I've, I've, I've found one particular method that works for this. So I've, I've tried several and this one uh, has has given good results uh, so far. So into bin, uh, into Kafka uh, topics. That should be enough. The keyword being delete, of course, against the particular zookeeper. It's on the local host. We'll come back and make sure everything's typed in a moment. Yep, that looks good so far. And then, of course, it's the topic. So let's get rid of my first topic and hopefully all should be good right so there we go it's actually marked up for deletion and that should have uh, gone by now so we're going to have a look look at the list of topics and there we go my first topic has actually disappeared my second topic is the only one that's available to you okay um, and again if we go and have a look at that first topic so this is going in and having a look at the description of that so um, in fact that was the correct one second one because I deleted the first one uh, da, da, da. what we could see here is I've got a certain number of partitions and I've got a certain number of replicas now you might want to modify that you might want to alter its um, parameters if you like in terms of the levels of you know what you've got in terms of uh, in terms of partitions and things so that's something that you might want to 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 do on a particular particular one so let's let's give that a go see if that uh, see if that works for us so we're going to slash bin uh, it's always worth giving it a go uh, so it's Kafka and its topics and this time it's alter so you want to alter something of course it's off to zookeeper again Get the same look and feel for these commands uh, localhost 
Of course, you wouldn't be doing these. You'd get an application to do these for you, but it's always nice to see them on the on the command line at least once. So my second topic, remembering, of course, we've removed the first. So how many partitions have we got here? We've got one, two, three. Should we change the number of partitions? Let's do that. So we'll change the number of partitions, and we'll change the number of partitions to... Ooh, growing them's going to be easy, isn't it? Let's go to four. See what that does. Right, OK. Let, let's get the description of that. Let's describe that now and see if we've actually achieved. Yep, it's done it. It's taken, it's given us four partitions. OK, and this is the level of replication we've got for those partitions. Now, <laughs> let's try the other way. So let's alter it down to two. That's a significant drop, isn't it? Right. OK, so what we've got here, let's have a look. So we've, we've, we've asked it to do a particular job, which was to decrease the number of partitions. So, so we can see here, the number of partitions for a topic can only be increased. You know, to have four partitions, two would, be, would not be an increase. Aha, OK, all right, fair enough. So the first time it did work, second time, and you can understand that. You know, because you'd be potentially losing, well, you would be losing data here. So realistically, if you wanted to reduce the topics, I think the only way you can do, uh, reduce the number of partitions, the only way you can actually do that is to delete it and start again. So uh, that's, uh, that's something uh, that you might want to consider. OK, um, here's another one that we could try. Uh, let's try this one, see if this one works. Um, this one is, again, Kafka Topics. And this one, what we're going to do here is we're going to change the configuration. So it'll be against Zookeeper. And that's localhost again, uh, 2181. Just make sure we've typed that correct. We're going into the realms of new stuff. Um, and I should have done the old alter, but we can put it here. And we can do Topic, which is my second topic. So we're picking on him again. And we're going to change the configuration. So I'm going to change the retention here uh, in milliseconds. And I'm going to change that up to eight hours, which I think is this. If I put the right number of zeros in there. OK, so we'll see if it's taken that. OK, good. Just uh, put the extra character on there for some unknown reason. And there we go. So what have we got here? So, so in future, yeah, updated configuration for my target in my signal. OK, all right, fair enough. So you can see, and we see that in a few other places as well. Uh, um, you get, obviously, uh, over time, deprecation of certain things. So they have to be done in a different place. But there we go. So there's different things that we can change and uh, this is all for investigation probably a little bit later on. But there we go. So we have finished with, uh, well, one of those. We've got our second topic. I should really go back and build the first topic. So I've got a couple of topics maybe to aim at and I will do that in preparation for later videos. But I'll close that one off now and uh, see you again. Bye for now.